Well, we were approached by Community Music Wales to um, work with students and introduce them to the concept of binary music with the idea that they could use this in their own compositions. It was really important for Community Music Wales to celebrate the 400th uh, year anniversary of Robert Apu's manuscript because it is one of the most important sources of traditional Welsh music and that has had an impact on the kind of music for the centuries. It was just really fun because it was just how old uh, and original the music is and that we've actually got an opportunity to, to kind of do what we want with it and how you know, it's kind of gone well. So it's all good. This manuscript is important because Without this manuscript, we would have no idea that there was a completely different kind of music that was played in, in Wales up till the early modern period, up till about 1600. Um, the young people, first of all, watched a performance by Braggard where they performed Robert Abhu's manuscript in its traditional form, using traditional instruments. So it was the first time many of the young people had ever actually seen the Curthan Lyre being performed and they certainly hadn't heard of Robert Abhu's music before. So we started the project with them learning about it and seeing the performance. into colleges was the whole idea of this language of ones and those and the fact that the students in the colleges are playing with that every day without even thinking about it and in early medieval times up to the 16th century people were also doing that and particularly not just all over Europe but particularly here in Wales. This type of music was, he realised it was coming to an end. It's as if one of you realises hip hop is coming to an end and you're going to write down stuff so people in the future will know what it was like. So we did a lot of work with those young people to uh, learn about the manuscript, uh, learn how to, p how to play um, the manuscript which was written in binary code. I think some of the questions were very good and some people we could see got it. They got the whole thing at its first ex exposition. My favourite part of the project um, was getting people physical, getting them up off their bums and dancing to the ones and those. Now let us invade you. Hello, I'm Jack and this is Archie. Say hello, Archie. Hello. And we are music tech students at Cardiff and Vale College. Uh, yeah, I found the project really useful. I can go away now with new influences, new music, because, I mean, as musicians, we're always looking for new ideas or inspirations to put in our music to make it different and unique. It's just all about being able to make the music that I want to do unique and different, so that's probably the best thing I've learned about this today. I think it's quite good to bring something different to the table. We can develop our skills if we're doing something different every time and sort of directing it in the genre that we want to do and bringing out the styles that we would like in our music so it sort of brings out the personality in your own music. So the young people sampled some of the music and they also wrote new music using the, the binary code um, and they created a, a kind of plethora of all different uh, tunes.